My parents for 45 years now have taken care of, of foster children and uh, they felt from an early age that was the purpose God had for them, to take in babies who needed a home. They would uh, take in kids who had special health needs, uh, maybe a feeding tube or a trach, uh, tracheotomy. And um, I've, I've watched many times over the years that uh, the children they've taken in, uh, doctors told them that the child uh, won't make it or if, if they do make it, they'll be uh, never grow beyond uh, the maybe the mental capacity of a two-week-old. Um, one of the kids they took took in uh, was a two-pound baby boy who had been born to a 14-year-old girl in Houston. She actually gave birth to this baby in her bathroom when her parents were gone and uh, wanted to end her problem. Uh, she put me in a garbage bag and tied it shut. I was only two pounds, and she figured that she could get rid of her problem, get rid of me, and go on with her own life. Uh, at 24 weeks, uh, newborns, uh, especially preemies, aren't supposed to, to cry. Uh, the lungs aren't developed, and uh, from inside of a garbage bag, my biological mother heard me cry. Uh, I truly believe that was God that spoke to her um, so she couldn't go through with her plan and God's plan uh, is what, what happened. She opened the bag and uh, got help from her neighbor and uh, from there uh, I was taken by ambulance to a local hospital in Houston. The doctors saw no hope. They saw a two pound baby who had uh, been near death already shouldn't have made, uh, made it to where he is at that point. After over four months in the hospital, I went into a foster home and then was adopted from there by my parents. Whenever they went to uh, the doctors and the courts, they were told by medical professionals or the judge, uh, even at adoption day, that uh, you do realize that if this baby survives, he'll have cerebral palsy, um, he'll be blind and deaf and uh, severely mentally retarded. Um, and my parents, my parents had just the ultimate amount of faith uh, that God was a, a big God. And if that's the plan God had, they were okay with that. But um, they also believe that God is, is a God of miracles. And so um, they, they took me home and um, Years later, after growing up, um, hearing that story from my parents, and only when I had my own son did it really make a difference in my life, uh, that I, I fully understood what that meant. Uh, I've watched my parents love, love hundreds of children, babies, and see a bigger purpose in their lives, uh, see that God has a plan for each and every one of the, the kids that come in. And as a result, my passion for kids is, uh, is right there uh, alongside my parents. And uh, God called me to ministry. Uh, over time, God really opened the door for me to use what He's given me, the opportunity He's given to me, uh, to, me to affect the lives of others and uh, impact many lives, just like my parents impacted lives. Growing up, uh, He wanted me to do the same. So uh, I'm not supposed to be here but I'm here and it's amazing to me how God's plan is so much bigger than what I ever imagined it would have been.